All right, welcome back to beautiful LA, San Pedro at the Harbor, here with uh, Pear from Mars Blades. And in the last video, we gave you some tips that are gonna help you use your Mars Blades off the ice to improve your skills on the ice. In this one, let's uh, work on a little bit of stick handling. So in the last video, we are working on uh, low stance, shuffle stride, moving those feet really quickly. Now we wanna tie that in the same rhythm into the hands. So quick hands, quick feet, uh, shuffle stride, and quick hands. So not moving the puck too much, just tapping on each side. And it's a nice challenge off the ice because you have a lot of extra friction. You gotta make those corrections really quickly. Uh, so it's gonna be easy to mess up when you start. Once you get it, you're gonna love it though. So it looks like this, quick feet, quick hands. Tap, 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 whoops. All right, so that was perfect. Uh, nice quick hands, quick feet. And you can do some variations of that. You can start moving it a little to the right, a little to the left. Uh, getting that control around the entire body. And then from there, we can go from getting that rhythm, the hands moving with the feet, now the next drill, we're gonna get them separated. So the hands are moving in opposite direction of the feet. Uh, so similar to the skating stride or the slalom stride that we did, where we're leaning, leaning, we're gonna do that same thing except for with the puck. So when our feet go one way, our hands and the puck goes the other. When our feet go the other way, hands and feet come the other way. So separating upper body and lower body, looks like this. So that one's great because it requires a lot of coordination. Not only are you working to work those stabilizer muscles in the legs with Mars blades, uh, you're also trying to keep that puck moving in the opposite direction. Uh, so you can start nice and slow and just getting a little bit of separation, but as you get better, uh, you want to push yourself to get more and more separation. And you'll find you can use that a lot on the ice. This next drill is great for working on puck recovery. What happens with a lot of newer players, lose the puck, comes off their stick, and they watch it go behind them. So I want to help players uh, work on a drill that you can easily keep that puck on your stick. All you have to do is stick handle, kick that puck back up. So it's a pretty simple drill, and uh, if you have the puck on your stick more often, you're going to score more often, right? Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't want that? So this one's pretty simple. Just work on quick, easy stick handle, drop the puck back, and then kick it back up with your foot. Make sure that you're working on both feet. Uh, stretch yourself out. This next one's a real fun drill. Uh, awesome to do on the ice, and if you can pull it off on the ice during a game, you're gonna, you're gonna get some cheers from the bench. Uh, so instead of dropping the puck into your feet and kicking it up, we're gonna pull that puck behind us, and then try to pull it from behind, up through the legs, kick it up, and keep on going. So it looks like this, you have the puck on your shooting side, you let it go behind, pull it up with the toe, and then it comes off the Mars blades, and back up in front. So that's a fun drill, it's a challenging one. Uh, what we're doing there is dropping the puck behind us and then using the toe to pull it up. If any of the guys out there want a bit of a challenge, instead of using the toe, flip your blade over and tap it with the backhand and put it through. It looks a little bit silkier and a little bit of a challenge. So speaking of challenges, I'm going to give you one. Okay. The last drill, what we're going to do, instead of one puck, you're going to be going two pucks, controlling them both down, uh, the whole way down. Thanks. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, so there's a few drills that are gonna challenge you and especially challenging having the Mars blades. Uh, not too difficult, but just gives you that little extra something that's gonna push your game to the next level. So really like having the Mars blades while doing the off-ice drills. Uh, I want to say thank you to Pear from Mars Blade for having me out here. Thanks, Jeremy. It was uh, great meeting you, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to meet up again and uh, <laughs> create some more uh, great uh, skating drills and uh, stick handling drills for your followers. So. For sure. Do you have any advice for uh, people following? I mean, uh, just uh, keep working hard uh, every day, and uh, yeah, it's the only thing that, uh, that will uh, take you to your, to your goals. For sure, it's, yeah. uh, it's doing something daily, yeah. working on stick hanging, working on skating, and just find, finding ways to challenge yourself, yeah. right? Not doing the same thing over and over, find new ways to challenge yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and that's uh, what, what I wanted to create with our product, is mm -hmm. uh, something that challenges you more uh, all the time. So, so uh, and like you say, uh, the, the key to success is to keep challenging yourself every day and not, not satisfy uh, 
for sure. And something that I've noticed is, is some parents, they, they are reluctant to get their kids into inline skates because they think it's going to interfere with their skating on the ice. Uh, I'd say it's the exact opposite. Get out there and, and just work on your skills. Doing anything is better than nothing. Uh, especially using Mars blades, you're going to find that challenge where it's going to directly relate to being on the ice. Uh, you look at a guy like Connor McDavid, he said in interviews that he spent a lot of time on inline in his driveway working on his skating and you can see it clearly paid off, right? Yeah. So um, that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, The Hockey Movement or How To Hockey and give Mars Blades a follow on social media. Thanks for awesome. Yeah, thanks.